Hello, my name is Elizabeth Gonzalez. I'm a current sophomore at Columbia College with plans to major in astrophysics and to concentrate in mathematics. This summer, I had the opportunity to complete an REU at the University of Florida, where I started my current project with my advisor, Sarah Ballard, on the radio velocity effect of test hidden planets. NASA's test mission relies on the transit method in order to detect exoplanets. The problem with the transit method is that it requires planets to have an edge on orbit in order to be detected. Since not all planets have an edge on orbit, lots of planets go undetected by tests. To address this problem, my project will be using a, another method of detecting exoplanets known as the radio velocity method. This method relies on the gravitational effect that planets have on their host star, therefore no planets will go undetected. So the methods I will be using for my project involve synthetic test-like data. The reason why we're using synthetic data is because it allows us to know the true information for each given planet while before we run it through a test-like simulation. Current, currently right now, the test-like simulation that we're using is a Python code that I created. And from this code, we have been able to conclude that hidden planets do in fact impact the transiting planet's um, radio velocity curve in terms of amplitude and period, but also the transiting planet's masses. In order to confirm this further, I will be using um, Python packages that other astronomers have previously written. I will be specifically using ExoStriker and RADVEL. So why is this significant? Having an accurate mass is actually crucial for our understanding of whether exoplanets can support life or not. An inaccurate mass leads to an inaccurate density, which can lead to false positives and even false negatives if planets can support life or not. So my project will help our understanding of our mass measurements for exoplanets, which will therefore help our understanding of whether other planets can support life or not. Thank you.